Welcome to page 10 of your transformation packet. Today, we're going to be doing combination moves. Let's take a look at what we've been given. It states, reflect, which is the flip, the image over the Y axis. So let's keep in mind this vertical axis is our Y axis and we will be moving side to side. That means our X values or coordinates will change to their opposite. So our first task is to reflect the image over the Y axis and translate the image, which is the slide, six units down. Well, since we're moving downward, that is controlled by our Y coordinate. So we will subtract six from each Y coordinate. Let's get started. List the ordered pairs that are associated with X, Y, and Z. For example, X is over negative four, up nine. Y is over positive one, up six. And lastly, Z is over negative four, up two. The first thing we have to do is reflect over the Y axis. Remember, when we reflect sideways, the X coordinate will change to its opposite. So you can reflect on the coordinate plane, or you can reflect using the ordered pairs. I'm going to use the ordered pairs. When I flip X, it becomes X prime, and I get four, nine. When I flip the Y, it becomes Y prime, and we get negative one, six. And when we flip the Z over the Y axis, well, that negative four becomes a positive four, and the two remains the same. So what happens? Well, the X coordinates flip to their opposites. Jotting down a few notes for myself off to the side helps when I go to answer the bottom statement where it says describe the changes to point Z. By making notes along the way, it will help me add detail to my written response. So my first transformation is complete. Now we're going to take X prime, Y prime, and Z prime, and we are going to slide those points down six units. That's going to affect the Y coordinate. So we know we're going to subtract six or take away six from each of those coordinates. So as we take X prime and subtract six from the nine, our X double prime becomes four, three. For Y, our Y double prime becomes negative one, take away six, zero. And lastly, our Z double prime, as we take away six from two, becomes a negative four. Now pause the video and plot your first transformation and your second transformation. Please pause the video. 
As we reflect over the y-axis, you can see that our original image and our secondary image overlap. But that's okay. Your first triangle should look like this. Now, let's slide it down six units using x double prime, y double prime, z double prime. Pause the video again if you need to. As we slide our image down six units, we once again get a bit of overlap, but that's okay. Our final image is here in purple. Now it's time to address this. We've made great notes off to the side. We are going to now describe the changes that have occurred to point Z. Z went from negative 4, 2 to Z prime, 4, 2. And finally, Z double prime is 4, negative 2. We're going to talk about, when we write, how the x-coordinate changed to its opposite as we flipped it over the y-axis. And as we slid the image downward, we subtract 6 from each y-coordinate. On your own, write a paragraph describing the changes to point Z. Pause the video, and when you're ready, turn it back on. You should have written a complete paragraph containing all the important details on this particular double transformation. This concludes the video on combination transformations.